Hello and welcome to The Inclusive Lens, my own learning journey that focuses on the value of diversity and inclusion in the Canadian workplace. For those of you I haven't met yet, I'm your host, Patrick Reynolds. Welcome. Let's get started with today's subject, diversity and inclusion in the Canadian media. And to help me with that, an award-winning journalist and author in Pickering. Let's go meet him now. Hey, I'm Spider Jones, and I'm uh, an award-winning journalist, a uh, motivational speaker, and a, an award-winning talk show host. I, I've been asked many times uh, about uh, diversity and inclusion, and uh, living in Toronto, which is uh, one of the most diverse cities on earth, uh, we still have a long way to go because we're not represented the way we should be, especially in some of the older institutions. I worked in the media for 35 years and I can tell you, it's, it's still a lot of exclusion there. If you go into the, uh, uh, the newsrooms, the producers' rooms, on air, there are very few people of color. We have a long way to go in that area. When I broke into uh, radio back in the early 90s, there was no talk show host in, in radio. And uh, it, it was kind of strange because I would, uh, I remember during breaks, I'd walk up and down the, uh, the halls of the various stations uh, that I worked in and, and because I was, I, I, I was a kind of person who was very curious and wondered why not and you would see on the walls all these awards and all these photographs of, of, of past famous radio personalities. And trust me, there wasn't one face of color there. And not just that, when I brought that up, they would question it. And then I was accused of playing the race card, uh, when in fact I was playing the reality card. Uh, the fact was there were very few people of color there. Now, fast forward to 2021, yes, things have gotten better, but they have a long way to go. City TV led the way. Now, we do have people that are anchors of, radio, of TV shows, but that's still, they're reading from a teleprompter. They're not sharing their opinions or their perspective or their wisdom with you. And I think we need to work in those areas. Let's take a pit stop on this learning journey right now and turn our focus to this. And let me share this with you. When I was in radio and I was at the top of my game and I was going coast to coast with my, my TV show, Famous Knockouts with my good friend, George Chevallo. And uh, I was doing a radio show back then called The Spider's Web. And I would have young aspiring journalists and uh, aspiring uh, uh, people that wanted to be talk show hosts and or in front of a camera uh, reach out to me. They had questions because they had never seen a reflection of themselves in the media. And they would ask me questions like, is it worth it? Is it worth it? And I had to be truthful with them. I said, you know what? I think the question is, how bad do you want it? What have we learned on this journey? Here's my final takeaway. Well, there's definitely a lot of work to be done in the Canadian media industry when it comes to diversity and inclusion. And as Spider Jones says, for the young ones coming up in the industry and the not so young ones, if you want to create a space, you got to go after it. You got to follow your dreams. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of The Inclusive Lens. Until next time, see you later.